Do you keep repetitively scripting or visualizing your desires, but they're just not coming to you or you're not getting any results? You really need to watch this video carefully. I want to explain you some really key understandings and secrets to manifesting that if you don't understand these, you won't be able to tap into the frequency of your desire, the feelings of having your desire and the abundance frequency and this feeling of detachment from results and frustration with your desires currently not being here. These, this process is really important to understand before we can actually master because it is often not so much about the exact scripting technique or the exact visualization technique or the manifestation method that we're using. It is much more about this deeper understanding of how manifestation works, but what it feels like which is what I want to get into today, to truly master manifesting your desires. Today, I'll give you three key questions to ask yourself and processes to work through before you can actually get to the nitty gritty scripting and visualizing. And I'll also update you on the most recent scripting or visualization technique that I've been using personally. But again, it's more the, this understanding that matters first rather than the method. So the first key question to ask yourself is, am I in an abundant frequency or am I in a lacking frequency? A lot of the times people that are asking for their desires a lot, scripting a lot, trying to visualize a lot, are actually in a lacking frequency. Why are you desiring? Why are you wanting this external thing coming into your life? It is often to fix you or to make you happier or there is a belief, subconscious belief in you is that you will only be happy that once you have that desire. But this is frequency wise, energetically, the opposite from manifesting because your frequency is of lack, is of disappointment and frustration and you're trying to manifest something that is of a happy frequency. Those two do not align. And I'm also going to help you how you get into an abundant frequency. But first, getting a little bit deeper into this, we really have to truly feel and sense that whenever we're calling in our desires, whichever technique you're using, scripting or visualizing, what is your feeling? Is it that of frustration with your current life circumstances? Is it that of unhappiness? Is it that of actually not being satisfied with your current life circumstances? That is why you want things to be different from this frequency we will never be able to call in our desires because energetically we're just emitting feelings of lack of frustration and we will only get more lack and we will only get more circumstances that frustrate us no matter how often we repeat our scripting it is about the feeling we're not actually feeling happy or fulfilled so how do we do this how do we get ourselves into an abundant mindset first and if this was easy we all would be simply able to do it but there are some key practices that can help you get there. First and, first and foremost is the gratefulness practice, right? Truly feeling gratitude for the present moment. Now, what this is actually based on, and this is the true essence of getting out of the lacking frequencies, we need to stop resisting the present moment so much. We need to stop wanting everything to be so different all the time. And this is almost, it's very paradoxical because this is the opposite for manifesting. So it needs to be a part of you that has complete and utter acceptance and surrender to the present moment, even though in the present moment your desires are not here yet, that frequency is the only one that can get you to actually better life circumstances in the future. Also understand this about this human nature that we have, which is desires never stop. Once we get our desires, we'll just want a different thing and a different thing. We are never satisfied. We are never truly happy until we feel this acceptance and surrender to the present moment. Whatever shit is presented in front of you, there needs to be a level of surrender and acceptance and even peace and love towards it. That is how we enter an abundant frequency and we can use conscious gratitude to get there, right? By just reshifting our focus on the things that we actually can feel gratitude for in the present moment. That can help us enter this abundant frequency. But we truly have to understand that 
It is a false belief that this thing in the future or in the external environment is going to make you happy. Once I'll have that money, I'll be happy. Once I'll have that relationship, I'll be happy. Once I have kids, I'll be happy. It is not how life works. The only way to be happy is in the present moment. Because if we do that, if we are happy and surrendering to the present moment, only then more good things can come to us. So it is really entering this abundance frequency, is accepting and surrendering to the present moment, truly feeling love for your current life circumstances. And this is very paradoxical. So I'm telling you right now that in order to get to different life circumstances, manifest desires, call in, you have to first love your current life the lack of the desire. And how can you do this? Well, for example, creating a narrative that this is like the beginning of a movie before the plot get, gets good. That is a way of starting to love the present moment. I know I don't have everything around me right now that I would want, but I'm still going to love and cherish this present moment because I'm just seeing it as a beginning or a part of the story. Another thing to do is really, truly honor the lows and the struggle and the hardship that we go through because these are lessons these are use tools the universe uses in order to grow and evolve us if we want to live a lifestyle of a higher frequency how do you think you're going to get there well there needs to be some release of old frequencies and patterns that you're carrying with you and the only way to do this truly is going through hardship and struggles and maybe before you manifest the love of your life you first have to go through another experience with a person that is hurting you and teaching you something until you get the lesson and maybe before you get your abundant life filled with prosperity you first have to have experienced this hardship with poverty in order to truly feel the pain of what it feels like to not have it to not have enough money to sustain yourself in order to even be able to appreciate the money and abundance that will come to you. So can we, are we able to enter a frequency of, first of all, acceptance, and then if we go a little bit deeper, actually love for our current life, even the lack of your desire. Even if I tell you now, your desire is never going to come to you. Can you still make the most of the present moment? If your answer to that is yes, God will reward you and will actually give you your desires. It is a very, it is almost like a humble method by humbling you first, making you truly surrender and accept the lack of it. Like being a grateful child first before you will actually get rewarded with more goods that can come to you. And as I said, this acceptance of the present moment, stop resisting the present moment so much. We always want things to be different. Do you not see how life has currently been playing out? You've always wanted something different. Even maybe there were moments of ecstasy and pleasure and excitement, but even those were fleeting, they were never permanent. Then reality hit again and you were unhappy again and you wanted something different. And you were like, oh, if I had that, I would be happy. If I had that now, that would be happy. It's just how the mind works. It's like desire never stops and this is actually a scientific thing as well with dopamine. Dopamine is the hormone that makes us want but it actually never reaches a point where it doesn't want more. More dopamine just leads to it gives a good feeling but it always leads to more desire more desire. It is a never-ending cycle actually. There's never an end point. We can decide to get to an end point by first just accepting and surrendering to the present moment. So that is the first step to get out of the lacking frequency, get more into an abundant frequency. Just accept the current life circumstances, accept love and cherish the present moment, feel some gratefulness for it because your circumstances have always have components to be grateful for, even the lows, even the hardships. There are lessons that help you evolve and grow. So practice that first. Second question that I want to ask yourself is really doing some true and honest self-reflection, whether you are in alignment or close to getting into alignment with this desire. Now, a lot of the people are trying to manifest things, but your life and nothing in your behavior or actions on a daily basis are aligning with that desire. It's like, okay, let's give you an example. Let's say I want to, be, I want to manifest being a billionaire and I can tell you guys I'm not a billionaire. 
So that is something that is really outside of me, right? And if I try to imagine now having a billion dollars, it just doesn't seem real to me. It doesn't resonate with me at all. And what in my life am I currently doing to get there? Am I hanging out with other billionaires? Am I making specific business deals? Am I taking specific actions? Am I doing anything in my current life? Am I actually ready for the responsibility as a human to be a billionaire? That is a lot of responsibility and power. Am I actually as a human able to have that? Now, billionaire is an extreme example, let's say millionaire. Again, same questions. Do some true and honest self-reflection. Are you able to handle that responsibility right now? Are you taking actions in your daily life that are showing that you want to be a millionaire? Are you doing anything about it? Do you identify with being a billionaire? If you walk around, practice with this. If you walk around and you enter a room, do you try to practice with yourself? What if I walked in this room right now with actually a million dollars on my bank account? How would I feel? Does this feel true to you? And even just a little bit, can you embody the frequency? And a lot of the times the answer is no, because you're nowhere near getting into alignment with that desire. And in that case, I would advise you to reduce the desire, pick a goal that does resonate with you in this very present moment, make the goal smaller, cut it down first, right? And the same with relationships. This is such a big one. It's like, oh, I want a healthy relationship and I want a loving relationship. I want to meet the love of my life. Are you truly ready though? First of all, can you actually picture yourself in that relationship right now? Or is there still stuff that you need to heal? Would you be able to accept healthy love if it was presented to you? Would you be able to give healthy love? Or are there still things in your system that you need to heal from? Are there still insecurities or self-love that you need to work from? Especially when it comes to relationship, the person that aligns with you will align with your frequency of love. And your frequency of love is how much you love and accept yourself. So if that is still something that is quite poor and you're expecting this person in the external or relationship to come and heal and fix you, it will inevitably be an unhealthy dynamic, an unhealthy relationship in whichever way. So we really have to do some true and honest self-reflection first, whether the desire we're trying to manifest fits in our life fits in our life circumstance, if we're able to handle that responsibility, if our behavior and actions on a daily basis are actually showing to the universe that we want this, are we actually showing dedication? Let's say I want to be enlightened. I want to spiritually awaken, but I'm not meditating. I'm not scripting. I'm just saying that, but I'm not doing or scripting. I'm not meditating or I'm not doing any sort of self-development work. So what is showing to the universe that you actually want this? right? Be true to yourself. Be true and honest about your desires, whether they truly in this moment in time are able to resonate with you. And the third and final question that I want to leave you with is how can we reframe or rewrite our desire or change our desire to something that is more in alignment with our current self? So maybe instead of wanting the love of your life, first try to manifest just more loving relationships around you, whether it is with friends or family, or maybe you first need to heal the relationship with your parents, make that of a more healthier one before you can even move or think about meeting the love of your life. Maybe you need to truly cultivate love, genuine love in friendships first. And when it comes to money, maybe you need to start with a much, much smaller amount, just even to grow your faith in manifestation first. Then a number on your bank account that you're able to, even though it might still seem a lot, but one that you're able to at least visualize and at least sort of like, maybe it would still give you a little bit of a feeling of shock and surprise to see that number on your bank account, but at least you can get into that feeling of shock and surprise as if it is happening. So what is really important with the scripting and the visualizing is that you really play around with the scenarios, with the scenes, with maybe this is, let me now just also get into how I currently script and visualize. It is a really, I really go through a few scenes in my head until I find one that resonates. I don't just 
start scripting and then there's no emotion for me there. I really first take the time to sit down and visualize and see what I can resonate with, with, like what invokes this feeling. I know I keep using money as an example. I don't know what people are manifesting, okay? I don't know. But let's say you're manifesting money. Imagine seeing that number on your bank account. Does that resonate? Hmm, maybe not. Then imagine walking around and paying something and having enough money for it. How does that feel? Can you tap into that? Or you get a payment slip from a client and you see that pop up in your email. Go through different scenes of how money could come to use, different amounts, go through different scenarios, go through all of these things and see when you find a scene that resonates. And with some people as well, when we get to the scripting, sometimes the writing down sort of ruins the moment because the some people work really well with scripting and get a lot of emotions in it but scripting at the same time you're with the writing you're using your right brain you're using your rational mind so sometimes it can take you away from the feelings that's why i always like to visualize first and then start scripting but sometimes and again i'm just using my emotions here i don't have a set technique i literally use my emotions to guide me sometimes i start writing and i notice ooh, that took me away from the feeling i'd rather go back to visualizing a little bit more because that really get, got me into that excited feeling or sometimes what what i find scripting especially useful for is like writing fake letters so maybe writing a fake letter from my future self to my present moment self as if all my desires came in or writing a letter, let's say I'm talking about a relationship from that person to me, or maybe times I script in the present moment and it is I, but really use your emotional guidance system again. If I write down right now, I have a million dollars on my bank account. Am I, am I, is there a lot of emotions coming up with that statement alone? maybe not so much so then i go back and i'm like okay what can i do to get there i'm like trying to think then i'll start to visualize like let's say i'm first just visualizing getting like ten thousand or five thousand and i'm just like i'm looking at my bank account i'm seeing a million and i'm feeling a lot of resistance like oh good that's a lot so bring down the number bring down the number until there is a feeling of resonance or visualize how the money is getting to you and again not always about the how sometimes we don't know how the money is going to get to you so we only visualize the end goal but if you already have a business running and you know how money might get to you you could visualize about the how right only for people that already know how money will get to them but if not focus on already having it or visualize how you're spending the money what would you actually do with it once you have it same with the relationship are you going on dates try to visualize yourself in a restaurant with the person love of your life you don't know how they look like but across from you and they grab your hand how is that making you feel do you feel resistance do you feel anxiety do you feel like oh that's really not my life okay maybe don't visualize about the love of your life but rather visualize about going on a really fun date with a person that you just met and you don't know if they're going to be the love of your life but at least you're visualizing something related to love right or visualize feeling really loved by your friends and really held in that way or visualize having such a loving interaction with your mom or your dad or your close surrounding especially when it comes to manifesting love we need to heal the relationships that we already have first in order to measure for ourselves the capacity of how much we're able to love and that is always a reflection of how much we're actually loving ourselves so this is truly the core to work on so to summarize the way I script or visualize right now is really focus on the visualization first and going off different scenes, changing the desire, changing it around until I feel some resonance with something. And for some people really make the desire much smaller. Like if you're currently extremely broke, have no way of getting money to you, it is not impossible to manifest a lot of money then, not at all. If you're able to do it, if you're able to visualize it, it will eventually happen. But for a lot of people, that is just just really they've never seen money so how can they visualize it so start smaller first and then see how that comes to you and then take the next step and then take the next step like we have so many years left on this earth why do we have to immediately jump to the end desire anyway and if you if you all of your end desires were given to you right now what will be the purpose of the rest of your life and always also respect 
the journey that you have to go through in order to get into alignment, whether it is releasing some of some limiting beliefs, you have to go through some traumatic events in order to do so. Not necessarily, no, that's not true. It's not like the trauma, you need the trauma, but maybe you need to go through some hardships to realize some things about yourself first. And maybe you need to learn how to step into an abundant frequency first, right? Respect and accept the present moment. Because truly, and that is what I want to end it with today, truly the only way to reach peace and fulfillment and happiness is when we stop resisting the present moment. Yes, manifestation is amazing. Yes, we can use all of these tools to call in our desires. And that can give us a lot of happiness too, right? Because it gives us faith that life can get better. But at the same time, the only way to sustain a level of happiness is by also just accepting what already is we only have the present moment truly it is never going to be exactly the way we want it and we're always resisting it and we want things to be different but the more we focus our energy on scripting and manifesting the more we're also resisting the present moment because we're like oh we want things to be different i'm so unhappy now so i need this thing i need this thing i need this thing to make me happy but that is not how life works you can want desires from an abundant frequency where you also have a lot of acceptance and respect and gratitude for the present moment. That is what I want to leave it with. Also for the people that want my help on really shifting their life around in a period of five weeks, I can help you daily through daily journaling, daily practices, weekly coaching videos. I've made this very comprehensive trajectory of five weeks where we do an identity shift and step into the highest version of you. We work on the self-concept, releasing past trauma, releasing old frequencies. You get guided meditation, guided affirmations, basically the whole package you need to change your life in five weeks. Link is in the description if you want to sign up to that. I would love to have you on. And yeah, leave me a like, subscribe to my channel if there was anything useful. And I would love to see you in my next video. Sending you my love.